Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogue Journal Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. B.P. Rahul and I am going to talk about unexpected effects of common painkillers that may be explained by a new study. Different non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs can have unexpected and unexplained effects on many diseases including heart disease and cancer. NSAID is widely used to treat pain and inflammation. A new Yale-led study uncovered a previously unknown process by which some NSAIDs affects the body. The findings may explain why similar NSAIDs produce a range of clinical outcomes and could inform how drugs are used in future. The study was published on 23rd May 2022 in journal Immunity. Until now, the anti-inflammatory effects of NSAIDs were believed to arise solely through the inhibition of certain enzymes, but this mechanism does not account for many clinical outcomes that vary across the family of drugs. For example, some NSAIDs prevent heart disease while others cause it. Some NSAIDs have been linked to decreased incidence of colorectal cancer and various NSAIDs can have a wide range of effects on asthma. Now using cell cultures and mice, Yale researchers have uncovered a distinct mechanism by which a subset of NSAIDs reduce inflammation and that mechanism may help explain some of these curious effects. The research showed that only some NSAIDs including indomethacin which is used to treat arthritis and gout and ibuprofen also activate a protein called nuclear factor erythroid 2 related factor 2 or NRF2 which is among its many actions triggers anti-inflammatory process in the body. It's interesting and exciting that NSAIDs have a different mode of action than what was known previously, said Anna Eisenstein, a instructor at the Yale School of Medicine and lead author of the study. And because people use NSAIDs so frequently, it is important to know that what they are doing in the body. She is now looking into some of the drugs, dermatological effects causing rashes, exacerbating hives, worsening allergies, and whether they are mediated by NRF2. This discovery still needs to be confirmed in humans, the researchers note. But if it is, the findings could have impacts on how inflammation is treated and how NSAIDs are used. For instance, several clinical trials are evaluating whether NRF2 activating drugs are effective in treating anti-inflammatory diseases like Alzheimer's disease, asthma and various cancers. The research could inform the potential and limitations of those drugs. Additionally, NSAIDs might be more effectively prescribed going forward with NRF2 activating NSAIDs and non-NRF2 activating NSAIDs applied to the diseases they are most likely to treat. The researchers said the findings may also point to entirely new applications of NSAIDs. NRF2 controls a large number of genes involved in a wide range of processes including metabolism, immune response and inflammation and the protein has been implicated in aging, longevity and cellular stress reduction. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.